what's up guys it's Austin from Yu-Gi-Oh! -Oh Theory and today I'm doing a combo tutorial for Preda Plants um, this is for people who maybe are new to Preda Plants so if you've been playing Preda Plants for a while this isn't necessarily the video for you but if you want to watch it I guess I'm not going to be able to stop you so uh, you can do what you want but I'm just telling you this is like for noobs so yeah by the way I have a uh, deck profile for these so if you guys want to check that out uh, make sure to go look at it. It's on um, the last video on my channel, like right before this one, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. So uh, let's get right into it. So let's just go with some of the first real simple plays. Um, this is just going to be like to get Starving Venom by himself first turn. Uh, the only thing you need for this is an Orphos and any other monster. Doesn't matter what it is. Uh, it's always good to have a sundew because you can bring it back with predator printing, but we're not going to focus that on right now. We'll do that here in a minute. That's, all you need is just two monsters. That's it. One has to be a Orphos or a uh, uh, a sun a lone fire blossom. So it has to be either him or him. It doesn't matter. It just has to be one of them. So what you do is first you're going to normal summon the Orphos uh, by and then you activate its effect to ditch this to special summon. Any Predator Plant monster from your deck. Uh, I usually go for Sundew because it's a little simpler than the uh, Cobra effect, where you, you can with him you can just special summon, and then right after this, without doing anything else, if you if it, like if everything else in your hand kind of sucks, you can just go ahead and Fusion Summon for Starving Venom right there, and that's like the most simple combo there is and you actually get off a of starving venom first turn very often in this deck um, now for a more complicated thing like starving venom plus like a little bit of removal if you're going second so all you need for this is a Banksy Ogre um, Orphos you need a little bit more actually you don't even really well yeah I guess you do need the the bank say yogurt in your hand um, and a hmm and I guess that's it to be honest well actually you need one other monster so let's just say a sundew I always forget that you need one other monster so this is all you need just uh, Orphus Scorpio a bank sea yogurt and one other monster so for this you need three monsters. So what you do first, normal summon the Orthos, uh, ditch the other monster, doesn't matter what it is, to special summon a Spino. Um, he puts a counter on one of your opponent's monsters and then you tribute the monster with the counter on it to special summon him. and. Well, you actually need a polymerization in your hand too for this. I forgot about that. So you need a polymerization to actually get the fusion summon off. But if you're not really worried about it and just trying to get rid of something, uh, this works too. Um, I know there's a way you can do this with a Starving Venom, but you actually need a little bit more in your hand. Um, I think you need, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I know you need a Orphos, a um, Banksy Ogre, uh, a squid and a predator printing so that's a lot more but it, it is a little better to be honest so what you do with this hand is you normal summon the Orphos you ditch the squid so you ditch it uh, to special summon uh, we're gonna go with Sundew then you can activate the pruning to special summon the squid back. Then you fusion using this, the squid, and the sundew. Uh, whenever he sundew, whenever squid leaves the field, it puts counters on all your opponent's monsters. So it's harder to get off, but it is a little bit better. Uh, you tribute one of the monsters with a counter to bring out him and I forgot to fusion for the monster so you fusion for a starving venom and I didn't put this in the extra deck zone because I don't honestly have the room for it so we're just going to act like this is in the extra deck zone so this is pretty good so you get to get rid of a monster 
Uh, you bring out a 2k beater, which is pretty nice. You get a Orphus that you can use later for fusion summoning or synchro summoning or whatever. Oh, uh, you can also synchro for a 9 if you ever get a, a spot open. And you also, too, had three monsters on the field, so you can go for a decode talker if you want. Um, this monster can actually get out, I mean, this deck can actually get out link monsters fairly easily, especially with uh, predator printing. Predator printing helps out a lot. I run it at three for a reason. So this is a pretty good opening. Um, now I'm going to show you how to get a first turn Beals, which is actually easier than getting this, if I'm not mistaken. All you need it f for it is a an Orphus, a Sundew, and a Predator Printing. This is it. Orphus, Sundew, and a Predator Printing. Or some other way to get back an Orphus. So if you run uh, back to the front, which is a really good card to, or to use in this deck, to be honest. Uh, kind of sucks that it's a trap, but that's, I mean, it needs to be a trap. It'd be unfair if it wasn't. But regardless, this is all you need right here is just a Predator Printing, Orphus, and, or, or Sundew and an Orphus. So what you do with this is you Normal summon the Orphus, ditch the Sundew to special summon uh, a Banksy Ogre from your deck. Then you activate the Predator Printing to special summon the Sundew back. And then with this and the Sundew, you can synchro for a Beals, or you can even still fusion for a um, Star of Venom Fusion Dragon if you want to. And you can always also fusion for. Uh, Predator Plant Chimera Flesia. It's really it's a really good card too. Uh, Starting Venom is definitely better, but it's de but it is a good card nonetheless. Uh, that's pretty much all the combos I can think of. Almost all the combos in the entire deck revolve solely around um, Orphus Scorpio. Uh, and this deck is honestly kind of easy to beat if you just strike the Orphus effect because the it's a it kind of needs its normal summon a little bit, but. If they don't, if they can't stop the Orphus effect, you're kind of popping off because you can get a lot out very easily for not really that much cost. Just the first discarded monster. Um, so right now I'm just going to draw a hand and see what I get. And I'm going to try to play it out and see what I can end up doing with it. So two, three, four, five. I'm going to say that I am going first. Which I don't actually like going first in this deck. Mm, I did not draw good. This is what I drew. If you're wondering, this is not a good hand. Well, I can make it work, actually, because I can normal summon him and then use its effect to fusion for a Chimera Flesia, which I actually don't go into him very much. So, yeah, I can always get a Chimera Flesia. And then if the Chimera Flesia dies, I always have Predator Pring to bring it back or Soul Charge. So, fusion with this and this for that and then I could always oh wait actually could get a starving venom with this because I just used these two diffusion summon right so this, this is in my graveyard this is on my field I activate predator printing to bring back the oh never mind I can only use Sunday's effect once per turn hmm or I can activate hmm since I'm going first, I guess I'll go ahead and activate Soul Charge to Special Summon, I guess both of them back, because why not? Uh, you probably want to Special Summon him Defense. And that's pretty much turn. That's not a very good hand. Uh, I have enough time to try one more, so we'll go ahead and do that. This time I will try going second. I like going second in this deck because I play a lot, a lot off of my opponent having monsters using Starving Venom's effect and things like that. So let's try that. This deck, honestly, it really sucks when you draw all spells and traps. Like it's, it really sucks because with fusion decks you like need monsters unless like all the spells and traps you draw are like draw cards. Like if I draw Desires, it's not that bad, but. Let's see, three, four, five, six for my extra draw. Let's act like they have monsters so I can disrupt monster monster stuff. Um, this is a much better f hand. Uh, I could go ahead and risk the allure for another monster, 
but I don't like doing that. I guess I'll go ahead and do that just to see what I would get. Um, I'd get a fusion recycling factory and another strike, so that would not be wise. I usually don't do it just for that reason, so let's act like I didn't do that now. Um, what I can do with this hand is I can normal summon the Lone Fire, tribute it to special summon a Orphis from my deck. The Orphis was right on the bottom actually. Use his effects to discard him to special summon another one from my deck. Special summon the Sundew. Uh, fusion for Starving Venom. I'll try to keep that in frame as much as I can. And then I'm going to set a Lost Wind, a Strike, and a Warning. So I do have really good back row, like off the chain back row. And I kind of have a, like I have a good board because Starving Venom is always a good, always a good board because he is a really powerful monster on the field. Because if I'm going second, let's say they have a 2000 attack monster, which isn't anything ridiculous. I still have to attack, and let's say it has effect where, uh, let's say it has a popping effect or like effect negating effect. So I still have its effects and negate its effects, and then I attack into it, and they take 28 directly, and then it's their turn, and I have all this to stop what they're going to do. So this was a pretty good hand, um, but that's all I have time for, guys. So uh, thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful in any way, please like and subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate it. By the way, thanks for all the views that our uh, other Predator Planet, that our Predator Planet deck profile has been getting. Uh, I think it's at like 90 views now, which is pretty good. It's only been out for like three or four days. Um, I've been trying to upload more regularly, but it's been kind of tough because I've I have kind of a tight schedule with school and everything, but and also my family life and stuff. But I appreciate you guys who do watch my channel and stuff, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.